So we start with exact sequences. Now exact sequences are extremely important and uh, it is nothing but a sequence of homomorphisms. So the first thing is that the composition is zero as it was in chain complexes. But the more important part here is that there is an equality. So there's a uh, in the chain complexes there was inequality in the sense that kernel of alpha n contained image of alpha n plus 1 and that gave us something like homology groups. Here there is equality and that means that there are homology groups for such an exact sequence are always zero. So we want to talk about some of the basic algebraic concepts which are very important. So some, consider the sequence, exact sequence like this 0 a to b where alpha maps a to b. Now this is exact if and only if kernel of alpha is 0 and that makes alpha an injective map. Append 0 to the other side. Now again alpha is a map from a to b. Now this sequence is exact if and only if image of alpha is b that is alpha is surjective. The third map is just a consequence of above 2. You append 0 in the back and 0 in the front and alpha again maps a to b. So then alpha is an isomorphism. And if we have a sequence like this where alpha is a map from A to B and beta is a map from D to C, then alpha is injective and beta is surjective. So we often will write this map as 0 A to B and C is B over A as a quotient map. So first map is injective and the second map is a quotient map or a projection map. So this is given on page 114 of Hatcher. So what we have written in 4 that 0 to A to B to C to 0 that is nothing but a short exact sequence. It is called a short exact sequence. Its short form is written as SES. So what are we immediately concerned with? See we are concerned with this. We take a space A which is a subspace of bigger space X. Now this space A we inject into space X and we take a quotient map of it. So we are trying to form a short exact sequence. In fact we have formed a short exact sequence. Then we want to construct a relationship between the homology groups of A, X and X over A. So that is the subspace A, the total space X and the quotient space X over A. So let us write this down. Now A would have some special properties. So A should be a non-empty closed subspace so that is one and second it should be a deformation retract of some neighborhood of x. So this will give us some relationship between homology groups of A of x and the quotient map x over A. Such a pair is called a good pair 
and we write it as x comma a if there is a relationship between a x and x over a Now let us come to the theorem. This is theorem 2.13. So again we start with the big space X and A is a subspace of X which satisfies two properties. One A is non-empty closed subspace of X and second that A is a deformation retract of some neighborhood of X. So let us write the two important maps. The first is the inclusion map, A is included in X. The second is the projection map. So this will give us an exact sequence of homology groups. You first start with A, then X, then X over A. So we first talk about N group, the Nth part, then we go to N minus 1, but the pattern remains the same A, X, X over A. So basically, you just need to remember the sequence A injected into X that is quotient x over a and then you just put hn, hn minus 1, hn minus 2, hn minus 3, so on, so on, so on, until you reach h0. So yeah. I have drawn the arrows in such a way that you can see we are always preserving a x x over a. What we are just changing is the index. Top row was n, the bottom row is n minus 1 goes all the way, it keeps on decreasing. So as mentioned before, this pair x a is the good pair, a pair which satisfies the conditions of the theorem. That is a is non-empty and close and deformation retract of some neighborhood of x. Example, suppose X is a CW complex and A is a subcomplex, then A is a CW complex in its own right. Then it satisfies the conditions above and it satisfies the theorem above. So we say X comma A is a good pair. So in order to understand the theorem, we have to give you an example. The example is nothing but a corollary. So we want to talk about re reduced homology group of a sphere. That is integers and it is zero otherwise if you are not in dimension n. So before we start proving, we need some facts. The first factor is that S0 consists of two points. So that will give us non-reduced homology, that is original homology is Z plus Z because there are two points. So the reduced homology takes one Z out. 
so it will just consist consist of z second is that this we have already seen now a to b is an iso if you have exact sequence like this and the third point is that we start with this pair of x comma a we are starting with this pair but when we are in the proof we will change this pair to and we will take n as 1 later on so notice that sn minus 1 is nothing but the boundary of the disk and x a is nothing but the sphere sn now let us give an example so that it is clear so i will first draw a disk this is d2 take its boundary this boundary as you can see is s1 take all the boundary together identify all the boundary with itself what i will get is a s2 a sphere and let us put this point in blue where all the boundary has been identified with each other so this is the sequence we get we start with a which is the boundary go to the x which is the disk then we go to the quotient map which is the sphere reduce index by 1 so this is the sequence we have drawn for general n okay now take n equals to 1 and try to draw a sequence like this so if you draw, try to draw a sequence for n equals to 1 you have to start from h1 so this was for any n so you could draw this sequence for pair x a where x is d1 and a is s0 so in that case you will only have this last part you will, you will have h1 s1 and h0 s0 but this what I am writing is the sequence for the pair x comma a where x is the disk tn and a is the boundary of that disk so why I am telling you to do it for a pair x a where it n is 1 that is t1 and s0 because that will be needed in the proof and it is good practice so now you notice there in this sequence the disk is homotopically equivalent to a point therefore its homology groups are zero so let us mark it out so what we get is what we have written in two an isomorphism So this was for the pair x a where x is d n and a is the boundary of the disk s n minus 1. Now we take n equals to 1 then pair x a becomes d 1 and a becomes s 0. So if you write the sequence for that this entire sequence you rewrite with n equals to 1. I am sorry I wrote n is 0 it is actually n equals to 1. So you rewrite this entire sequence for x equals to d1 and a equals to the boundary of d1 which is s0 so d1 is nothing but an edge so s0 is two ends of the edge that's why s0 has two points so if you write it this is what you will get now s this is just integers this is an isomorphism so we have h1 s1 as integers now you can fill it up by induction keep on putting it for every sequence and you get the result yeah that is pretty much it